Okay. This is part four, I think, so let's go ahead and get started. I think we were gonna use our new abilities to move a rock. I think to do that, we're gonna need to swap people. Like this. I think we need to go to it's been a while. We need to move a rock. I'm trying to remember where that rock is. I think we need to go to... Well, I guess it is... Oh, wait. Never mind. Because I think we need to go north. Because we've already gone to Chugo Correct. We've already gone to Chugo. I think we're trying to go north to those towns up there, so let's try that. Hey, what's up, Hugh? How's it going? A lot of Tekken 8 news going on right now. I think it's this way. Because we haven't gone this way before. Oh, there's a lucky cat here. That's so. Nice. Okay, I can do that. All right, hopefully that's better. Yeah, I think... I think we need to have more faith in the devs. I think that we're going to make something fun. Even if it's different. <coughs> I think this is where we need to go. So what happened? Yeah! <laughs> this is hilarious. Super Saiyan mode. This is ridiculous, right? <laughs> you. 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 All right. I forgot that I can turn the camera by holding R and then the C stick, right? That's what it was. Okay. Let's take advantage of that. You. All right, we're through. Evo Japan pool starts in an hour? Oh, dang. Tomorrow's going to be really crazy then. Going this way. I don't really know where we're trying to go. Oops, yeah. Hmm. I think we need to... I guess we can platform. I just don't think our character jumps very high. But we might be able to jump there with a different character, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's the ninja? Does Sasuke have, like, jumping abilities or something? I think it's Sasuke can jump high. Yeah, he can. Look at those ninja abilities. Oh, actually, that's even better over here. He sounds like he's underwater, like his like he's gurgling underwater. Sasuke Uchiha, let's do it. We have to somehow make it to the next area, got it. 
Is this like swimming, swimming? Yeah. I don't think we can do anything in there, so let's, uh, let's not go there. But I think we can go this way, probably. Should have run my pre roll, that's on me. Is there a ladder? Oh, there's a... That's good. It worked out. Maybe we should be going this way just to make sure we didn't lose out on it. No, that's... That's that's where we came from. We're fine. Is there a ladder here? Please say there's a ladder. Nope. We're gonna have to go all the way back. That's lame. Okay. What are my thoughts on Jun on Xiaoyu? I think Jun's interesting. She's either gonna be... I think June is either going to be trash or really broken. Because anything that... I think it's very hard to balance a mechanic where you trade your life bar for strength. So, right? Because that's like what June's thing is. Is she's got... She can like lose life on certain attacks, right? So if that's the case, she's going to be like Akuma or something in Street Fighter games where it's like, oh, like... He has the lowest life bar, so it's fine, right? He's a glass cannon, so that's why it's balanced. It's like, no, it's just going to be super strong. I think that's... So, exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I'm saying that June will not be balanced. She will either be way too not good or way too powerful. So that... And I'm erring on the side of her being too powerful. <laughs> um, so that's kind of what my thoughts are on June. I think... Honestly, Xiao Yu kind of kept my attention the least, and she looked the least unchanged in, from a move set standpoint. She just kind of looked the same to me, but maybe that's just because I don't understand Xiao Yu anyway. But, uh. But I did. I like her look. I think she looks pretty good. This is like the best looking Xiao Yu, personally. Yeah, and also she's not super interesting either or it's like she's interesting but she's like annoying or something i don't know just <laughs> also we're in hokkaido now we're in hokkaido and we're in a tunnel apparently where the hell i don't know where to go first her whole story is being a gen simp i can believe that yeah i can for sure <laughs> I've got this weird thought where it's like all of these characters are all getting these like super HD like you know treatments and whatnot and then we're gonna get Brian and you're just gonna see every fiber on his mask but you're still not gonna see his face it's just like man that'll be lame but I think I think I'm I think I'm excited Um, of the, ooh, we're in Mutsu Festival Village. It's like, this is Festival Village of Mutsu. Even the cold snow is blown away with our burning energy. We blast the cold away with our festival power. Dang. Yeah, I've heard that, but I think, I definitely think it's a cultural thing. I think those are... I think those are Asian beauty standards, right? I think that that's sort of the ideal beauty standard over there, personally. And I think that's why they do it. I think, like, if you see, you know, Po 
post-surgery people and like the way that they touch up the photos i think it's like pretty clear that's like the ideal you know it's kind of like body types here in the west of people getting plastic surgery to look a certain way oh yes every single night is a festival a festival a festival yeah yeah hey 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 this is where you're supposed to ask me to stop getting so excited no we're excited too talk to you the old man Lars looks more he does look good though North of this village, you will find the stone circle where the mysterious stone pillars stand. However, the circle does not mean there's a bunch of people in this circle. Okay. What is this? There is a saying that if you climb up the waterfall of Pagon, you could become a mermaid. I'm a surf myself I'm gonna become a mermaid and wait for my prince to come. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Alright. It's just food. We don't care about food. But we'll probably stock up at the store. Get some get some armor. Yeah, Lars looks good. I do like Lars. His jump button, he does a little flip. Long ago, this village was where people who sacrificed their lives would come to live. They called it the Don't You Think It's Hot Blooded Village. Well, I made that up. It sounds true when I say it that way, doesn't it? Somewhere in this village is a store where you cannot enter unless you're a good swimmer. But if anyone attempted to swim here with all this snow on the ground, surely they'd catch a cold. Alright, time to become a mermaid. That's what I just heard. UFOs are often sighted at the Stone Circle of Ugo. Incidentally, that's where our precious cattle were abducted. I can't take this anymore. Yo, we got UFOs in this game? Is that what I'm reading, hearing right? Takemaru. The back route to Mount Fear is inaccessible due to the stone block in the way. There's no way you can destroy that stone and get through without an extra powerful weapon or something. In this village, where festivals are held every day, there's only one day with no festival, the New Year. It's kind of a strange village, don't you think? Yes. As of late, I've noticed this nice scent coming from the ocean arc. Mm, what a scent. I'm quickly getting very hungry. Okay. from the south of this village, turn right and go through the Uzen Tunnel. You will find the Waterfall of Kagon. Well, you might find it a little confusing, but that's the way to get to the Waterfall of Kagon. Alright, we're going there next. We're gonna take a... not a break, but we're just gonna go there. Ah, just kidding. I bet you Mr. Plasma's gonna tell us to go there anyway. Let's go. I suppose we can jump up here and see if there's anything else interesting. Mr. Mokube, who lives around Mount Fuji, is actually my older brother. I've been hearing rumors that he has further developed his skills. If you use the pipe my brother makes, there would be no problem getting through to, to destroy the rocks blocking up Mount Fuji. Ah! Gotta go back to Mount Fuji to get a better pipe. I see. Now we're gonna go become a mermaid. And then we're going to go get a better pipe. Festivals reflect the heart and soul of the Japanese. If your blood's not pounding quickly or your body's not dancing, one can't really consider you to be Japanese. Alright, let's save real quick. Alright. Time to go to the tunnel. Cool, 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 cool. 
And if that doesn't work out, we will go to uh, Mount Fuji, I guess. I think the one... I want to say it's a complaint, but yeah, the enemies are kind of just there. You can just run around them in these areas. So we'll just travel through these tunnels. Easy enough. Waterfall of Kagon. Legend has it that those who successfully swim to the top of this waterfall can become a mermaid. It may still be too early for you to arrive here. Are you kidding me? They're telling me that this might not be the time to do so. That is pretty rich. It's too early. We'll go back. Well, let's go back to Mount Fuji hey, then. Up. Let's go back to Mount Fuji. This looks like the Valley of the End. It kind of does, doesn't it? Oh no, we haven't found a. Uh... Dang. Okay. Well then. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I was like, we don't have a way to warp there. So I guess we have to go to, uh... We have to go to Uedo Town. And from there, we can go to Mount Fuji. Oh yeah, this Sasuke, obviously, yes. I can't actually tell if we're near the end of the game or not. I honestly cannot tell. Let's see, which way to Mount Fuji again? So that was the way out of the village, but is this the way out of Mount Fuji? Kind of hard to tell. Hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about this? Yep. All right. Cool. Oh, you remember this music? Slapping music. Best music you've ever heard. We should play this during our Tekken stream. Just have this as the soundtrack. <laughs> Just that slapping 90s 3D platformer music. The biggest mountain. Yeah. If this is not where we're supposed to be, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed. Yeah. The good news is we don't have to like mess around with any of these uh, side tracks anyway anymore because we've already been here. Go straight to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! We messed up. 
Oh no, we really messed up. Alright, this is time to switch to sauce to, to someone who's more uh, suited to this type of stuff. Let's go, Sasuke. He's so tiny. Just a little ninja. Look at that combo. This is where we're supposed to be. I'd be really disappointed if we're not. Time to see what now? Please improve our weapons. Hmm, so that's what you have come for. Okay, stand back and I'll show you what my training has done for me. Ah! Woo, well, how's that for improvement? There you go. Okay. Yay, can now use the sword shield. Thank you, Mokube. No problem. Good thing I went to Mount Fuji to train, but I've never made a decent pipe before. Whoa! Oh, if you hold it, she can do that. That's pretty interesting. Alright. I'm gonna talk to him one more time to make sure that we didn't miss out on something, but I think that's that's good. Alright, nice. Let's just go outside and we're gonna pipe our way back. Alright. Let us continue. I think they said we have to go north to the stones we, because we need to like use our weapons to our pipe weapons and stuff to uh, break the stones that are blocking it or something like that. That was the impression that I got. The gist of it. Side of this village is Mount Fear, where witch lives. We called the spirits of all kinds of people. Just the other day, she called upon an alien spirit, which ended up causing a huge headache. Really, now that does sound like a headache. Still waiting on my cosplay event. We'll we'll come up with something. <laughs> at Mount Fear, the power used by the witch is marvelous, but I'm puzzled as to what exactly she is calling. Really setting up the villain, huh? The ocean about this time of year becomes covered with ice due to the icebergs drifting down from the north pole. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. It's been very cold for several days now. The main route leading to Mount Fear is now covered in ice, making it very difficult. But it shouldn't be nearly as difficult to climb if you use a ladder and climb the alternate route around the back. Okay. I saw a fish monster rise out of the ocean. It looked like a monster that would come out in an SFX movie, special effects movie. Yeah, we can do the run when we, uh, if we cosplay it. Okay. 
take the ladder around the back. Take the back way. Yeah, it's the back way. This is like the same as the desert, where they're kind of just hitting you with this, like, impossible... Oh, this is the camera. Now fear, back room. What the heck is this? A stone circle? Butsu shoreline. Yep. Got him. There's a gate located underwater. To open this, you must press the red button in the waters. stone circle. Yeah, I want to see what the heck this is supposed to be real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is important for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go up Mount Fear for yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is this game nighttime now? We went from sunset to nighttime all in one day. Oh. Let's go. Got it. With my super hammer. Yo, look at that. <laughs> wow, we freaking destroyed that rock. We destroyed it. unadulterated power right there. Alright, let's see. I just don't even want to bother with these ghosts. I just figured they can just, they can do what they want. And I will not worry about it. I know he can like take his camera. up here? I'm actually not sure what's going to happen afterwards. Yep. So he climbs the ladder slowly. Is this a tea shop? Or just a house? Oh. Found him. You, you must have come here not knowing what to do. Well, well, well. What do you know? I've been in this for 120 years. All I need to do is look at your face and I know exactly what you're thinking of. Ah, there's something. I can see something. What? Is my fly open? <laughs> That's not where I'm looking. I see an old man with a strange look in a very dark place. Strange? Then it could only be the wise old man in Iga. You must be joking. It sounds like you know this man. How about it? With my powers, I can call him out here. Really? Please, I just want to get a glimpse of my wise old man. All right, I'll do it for 300 Yurio. Huh? You're asking us for money? Of course, this is business. I've got to charge something. 300 Yurio, take it or leave it. Leave it, we'll take it. Very well, now, I'm gonna call them all back. Come, come, come here, come here, here. Welcome, come home, come on, baby. <laughs> come on, come, come, come back. Hmm. Take that. <laughs> oh my goodness, she did it. Yo, that guy looks great. He looks like Santa. Oh, it's the wise man. Oh, it BC Maru. Ah, where in the world is this? Old oh, man, what has happened to you? Oh no. Wise man, tell us. We want to save Kyushu and Obitsu. We have no idea where to go or look. Hmm, I see. As I understand it, Kyushu is floating in outer space. Outer space? Yeah, but how are we going to get all the way out there? There is one way. Huh? 
Retrieve miracle items from the four flake gang leaders of Peach Mountain. And take it to the altar of the Stone Circle in Ugo, to the west. Then you'll be able to go to outer space. Awesome. But wise man, how do you know? <clears throat> That's because I'm the wise man. Wait a minute. I see you already have three miracle items. You only need one more. Good luck on your search. You should be looking for the miracle item the wise man was talking about. Get going. Wow. That's here. Yeah. Well then. That was interesting. Um, so now we have to go through the other side of the village, I think. And then this is when we're gonna get, uh, like, is the word like punished or just they're going to say, now we gotta learn how to be a mermaid or something. So let's see. I guess we should save, huh? What do you think about Magic 4s being nerfed, Hugh? I'm kind of happy about it. In a way. Though it does take away another big defensive mechanic. Still the weirdest game I've played? That's fair. I mean, it's pretty weird. <laughs> I think there's weirder. They took away Steve back one? Yeah. How do we know? He's not even in the gut. Is he in the game? Have, have they talked about him yet? I haven't been yeah. paying attention too much to the interviews. Yeah. Yeah. Hardly stand on my own two legs, but I tell you, the drum of the festival brings power to my soul. If only I were just a little younger, I'll, I'd be the one on stage. But on second thoughts, I'd rather not. I'm afraid of high places. Urgh. If the drummer of the festival were selected on looks, I just know they'd pick me. Hey, my body's moving to the beat of the music. Yeah, Flash, the rockin' kid, shaking it, baby. The drummer at the festival is not only popular with the girls, he's also popular with the boys. Oh, boy. <laughs> King back one similar to it and got nerfed. Ah! Oh. I wonder if that includes Brian's 4 3. That's 16 frames. The number one drum specialist in town. That's me, Kozo. You're surprised? Incredible. Ha 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 ha! With my drumstick techniques, I can make any item sound like drums. Ah, oh, but the other day I hit a dog trying to make such a sound but got into a lot of trouble. No! I'm too scared to go down. Quitting. Number one drum specialist in town, that's me. You ask why? How could you ask with that tone of voice? I know. What are you know. Yeah. That was interesting. Makes me wonder what they're gonna do with keep out characters. Cause like, you know, what did Kazuya's down for two is still in the game. And Brian is still a keep out character, right? Like we'll see. Like Kazuya's still yeah. potentially a keep yeah. out character. like defense yep, will become yep, yep. I wonder if taking away stuff like magic 4 um is more what? about bringing likes yeah they say aggression is the name of the game right yep. but I wonder if that means they're also going to double down on the keep out properties Yeah, it's like, maybe you just have to, like, commit to the keep-out properties of a character now. It's like, oh, this character is about keep-out, so we're gonna make them keep-out, you know, rather than... Well, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm curious if that's how it will work. Yeah. I'm very curious to see how characters like Brian will look. Because, like, Brian has two... Yeah. 
That makes sense. Which, honestly, 12 frame counter hit seems good, right? Wait, I don't know. If I... Oh no! Let's go to the sign and see if the sign says we're too early again. Take control of the Legend of the Mermaid, looking for applicants. Yes, I do. I dread the thought of seeing a male mermaid. Oh. That's sexist. Alright, whatever. Take control of the Legend of the Mermaid, looking for applicants. Yes, I do. Are you ready? You can wave dash in my face now? <laughs> True. Yes, please tell me. Press the A button several times quickly and climb the waterfall in front of you. If you reach the goal located at the top of the waterfall within a specific, specified time, you have completed the training. However, there will be Oyakata is appearing at the top of the waterfall to try and foil your attempts. Use your control stick to keep you from falling into the waterfall basin. Ready, set, go. So mash A and then move like this. Okay. It's like, okay, I see. Oh, shh. RNG. Keep out Snake Edge would be di would, like so dope. <laughs> Your gracious swimming skills are like that of the Mermaid Princess. Wow. And I can swim underwater in the deep ocean and rivers. All right. Wait, maybe we should have tried it in there, right? Should we have tried it in there? Yeah. Shouldn't we? Seems like a logical. Oh, no, that's not it. Let's try it from here. and rivers. I guess that's not this. Alright then. Does she have a... Yeah, she has magic mermaid. Okay. I guess it's just not where it's supposed to be. Fine, fine, fine. But yeah, I'm like... I'm really, really curious to see what my character will look like now. Because... Like... I want to see if I'm still able to, like... I want to play a big bet character, you know? Like, Brian is essentially, like, sort of a big bet character in the sense that you need to hit him once. You just get one hit in and kill him. And if they, like, double down on that, I actually will like that a lot. Like, what if they make him more like Nagori Yuki or something from Guilty Gear? How do I know he's going to be in? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know. I'm hoping he is. If not, I'll probably play play Paul or something. Actually, I'll probably become a Kazuya main, to be honest. Ah. Now what? Okay. Yo, this is, uh... I see you hold the swim. That was weird. Alright. Yeah, the current cast. You know I actually tried to play Kazuya, right? Like, that was like something that I tried to do. be that person that like 
it's just like, yeah, I'm a Kazuya main, and I'm just gonna practice, like, perfect electrics all the time. Wait, oh, you mean the one button electrics? Uh, I think it, like, takes away a little bit of that. I think it takes away a little bit of that mystique, you know, of execution or whatever. Oh, normal wit. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that's that was kind of wild. Um, I don't hate it, I guess. I mean, it's just like... It's kind of like, if you like this character, why do you have to try so much harder to get a launch? If you... Other characters can just do down for two. Like, it is... I do kind of get that, but... I don't know. It does seem kind of weird, doesn't it? Does doing the real electric mean you uh, do more damage or anything? Do you get anything? Do you get anything for the non-easy electric? Like, what's the trade-off for the easy, like, one-button stuff? Is there one? such a pretty mermaid, y'all. Because, like, in some games, right, doing the easy mode... Nice. In some games, doing the easy mode just means less damage. stuff like Death Fist and Electrics, things that you essentially need to trigger a stance to, like, get them off are, like, pretty interesting, right? Like, I don't know. Like, it means you can do them at the fastest frames now. And in some ways, it makes it a little bit more, uh, consistent, I guess. I mean, like, you know, you can be like, oh, now I know that he could do it in I don't know what Death Fist frames are, probably like 20 at the fastest, if it's anything like, uh, if it's like, um, Brian's Hatchet or something, I'm not sure. Oh, is this a surprise, surprise pack? Yeah. Yay. Got an extra life. This is a cool stage. Don't know where the hell I'm going, but that's okay. Honestly, I will be happy if more Tekken players are playing the game, you know. One thing that I noticed, oh shoot, we found a submarine or a UFO or something. But honestly, I, um, anything that brings in more players is great. I noticed that with the new dash mechanics, doesn't this mean that you can't do Korean backdash forwards anymore because you'll just start running?
this way. Jimmy J play again. That's going to be really fun. Oh man, we're here. Made it. What the hell? Are we, are we in a submarine or a UFO? Which one is it? Whoa! Watch Jimmy J. That's gonna be awesome. Are these? I missed the exit. Okay. You. Wow, I was here the whole time. Yo, what is with all these uh sushi references? Snappier uh, Sasuke for this. Oh, he's got, he's got, he's got more kunai now too. Oh shoot! I need to calm down and actually uh, do a precise jump. Uh, jump. Yeah, I mean, I'm waiting for it to be an open beta. I guess that's kind of how it will be, right? That's pretty nuts. Oh my god, the sushi's alive. That's what they were this whole time. I messed it up. Dang it. Dang it. I see. I understand. Oh shit. Seven hundred people for virtual fighter? That's uh wow. Maybe people are just really jonesing for that uh 3D game energy, right? Oh, 
Virtual Fighter just watching it never really made sense to me. Like, even liking Tekken, Virtual Fighter just kind of feels like a weird looking game, you know? Characters as a Brian costume in that game? That's pretty funny. Nice little reference then. Let's go, Sasuke. Oh, we'll take that. Ha! Not a not a player, right? Like an actual character in the game? Because I remember at Evo. Like US or something. There was a kid. There was a guy that was in the. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, there was a someone that cosplayed as Brian during like Evo or something, which was pretty funny to watch. This water is hot, and I was wrong. Let's go, mermaid. Oh, dang, it was COVID. Really, that sucks. It was always sad when something like that happens. going on they're just putting random stuff everywhere I have no idea what's going on right now this is crazy oh gosh Sasuke-san, can you run up this thing? Yes, you can, okay. So that's the secret, I guess. Alright, we need to get to the silver key, which is over there. Oh no! So good at this game. <laughs> Maybe we just 
damage boost over here. Yeah, right. Sasuke shouldn't. Maybe he gets. Maybe he overheats because he uh, needs. Uh, his CPU starts to overheat or something. Gotta give him the benefit of the doubt, right? Maybe something very simple like that. These uh, levels are not that uh, trying. Kind of noticed. Yay, bazooka! This allows her to shoot from at enemies from a distance. Then you can hold it and you lock on. Wow. Oh shoot, there's uh, hot water in here. Let's get out of here. Wow. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Alright, so how do we get across? Right? Gonna, oh, it's over here, I see. Never mind. I'm a fool. Oh, we could have gotten up here the whole time. Finding the hidden route using the wind-up camera. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Nice. I guess. We'll take that. And I flubbed it anyway. Not very good at uh, platforming. Yep. Oh my gosh, the delay! This game is very fun and very entertaining. The controls are not like ridiculously tight, but it's still very entertaining. Oh no! Yeah, get up! Yeah, we got a silver key. Okay, nice. That's fine. Diamond key, okay. Maybe I switch to gay here. Can we not shoot? I guess not. Get down! <laughs> ah! Didn't work! Does this lead to the other side of that room? Ah, it sort of does. Nice. 
think it's a bowl of ramen. Find the hidden. Okay. Same as before, I see. The game kind of doesn't want you to use your intuition too much. They kind of just tell you what to do a lot of the time. There's a lot of hints. They're just like, nope, you're talking to me with the wrong person. You're using the wrong ability, you know. Which I don't mind it. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with that, but it is something that kind of just stuck out to me, I guess. so that we can get our lives. They didn't ask us if we wanted to save on this stage. So we kind of just have to not lose. Oh shit. Oops. Try again. When do we cut our losses and say we don't need that extra life? Yeah, I swore I just kind of clipped off there. It's weird. Might happen again. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I want to see uh, where we are on this map. Yeah, okay, so... This will actually just take us back to the first room, which is kind of like, okay. I guess that's fine. I see. is pretty rough. I don't know if it's my controller. I have a kind of a, like an almost custom controller. It's got a GameCube, like, joystick on it. I don't know if that's what's messing with it, or if it's, like, the lag, if the game's lagging a little bit, or, because, like, I'll, I feel like I'll, like, try to run off, right? I'll try to run and jump, but then my character just, like, runs off before my jump input goes through. I don't know if that's, like, game doesn't like simultaneous inputs or something, you know, like, what's, what's the deal? I don't really know. That's okay. Alright, so now we can go this way. Fighting the boss soon. Oh gosh. Wow, we're so good at this game. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We made it to the boss. Or something. Oh, it's this person. Okay. Ooh. Poron, you have finally made it as far as here to see me, the great, mighty Poron. Do you ever give up? I sense you are a diehard fan of mine. What a joker, I'm not here to see you, I'm here to get the miracle item. You're saying, not for me, but the miracle, is that so? Tisk tisk, it's too bad. Last time I was in the Kansai region on a vacation, I dropped it somewhere in the Zazen town. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Well, if he's not kidding, we must return to Zazen town at once. Lily again. Yeah, if Tekken Pools will be mixed with other pools, really? Oh, that's 
that's weird. It's not gonna be that easy, la la. Lily, Ush, her name is Lily. You're all getting in the way too often. Therefore, I'm taking you on a one-way trip somewhere far, far away. <laughs> Dancing, yes, la la. You're invited to hell, Fernandez, la la. Dancing, what are you doing here? I just thought, since I've only been in a few scenes... By the way, the word scenes has nothing to do with my name, because my name is not Dance Scene, la la. What the hell? <laughs> You're taking valuable time away from my scene to tell us that awful joke. You've got much to learn. To be a star, you've got to stand out like a sore thumb. That's not fair. Um, uh, Mr. Danson? Miss Lily? What should I do? Ouch! Uh, well, why don't, don't you use the device to get rid of those guys? Ouch, I say. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Anyway, goodbye, Fernandez. Hey, that's my line. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> what was all that all about? Well, as the man says, goodbye. Switch to the on position. Bye. Unreal. Where are you going? Stop. What is going on? T minus 30 seconds. It looks like the time bomb has been activated. Are you saying we're going to be a food for the fish in a matter of seconds? It's nothing to be joking about. But no, that is out of the question. Do you wish to save the game? Yeah, sure. The game has been saved. What's next? What the heck? When did he have that? What is going on? No! <laughs> it's happening again! We get to the cutscene again! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Unreal. Look at that heart. <laughs> this game's wild. The English is so well timed. All right. All right, we're out of here. The more stuff we break, I think, the more we uh. Oh shoot. I do think the more stuff we break, the better stuff. Oh, I see. The more stuff we break, the more uh. The the more gold we'll get for the fight, I guess. Messing up. It's okay. Dang, is this what I'm talking about? I keep pressing the jump button and I keep uh, tripping. Oh, there's a bit of a delay to the jump. I see. So that's weird. That's weird. Gonna fight the boss now. Oh my gosh. It's another mech battle. Tai Samba to the Charming Mermaid. Go. Oh 
got him. Sort of. I wonder if I could tag him in the air? is like uh, faster and then the right punch is just like a straight you know oh no but that being said let's not mess this up all right let's see maybe if we just shoot him it's more efficient I think So you just do like left, 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 straight, and that'll like hit him. Nice. Stop doing that real quick. Nice. Can't, oh, okay, we're doing a transition now. Now it's an underwater fight. Now we're fighting him underwater, I see. Did I uh, stop him in time? This person's juking us out, though. Nice. Alright. We're doing okay so far. We're doing okay so far. We might actually make it. So we're in this war pool. We have to stop the attacks. Nice, we got it. Oh, we got him. We got him. We did it. First try. We've learned how to mech. Get that magic carp out of here. Look at that face. That's some creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I've got a movie to complete, so I must head back to France. What the hell? If you need me again, au revoir. What the hell? Do you wish this? Yes, yeah, sure. That was so weird. So do we have to go to Zazen Town now? Is that what we have to do? Au revoir. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's it's awful. <laughs> it's awesome. I don't know if you ever watched uh, Ping Pong the animation, but the way that the Japanese people in that one say speak Chinese is also is also very amusing. Like they'll they'll go up to the Chinese guy and that one they'll be like Ni hao. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's figure out where we're going with this. This is Zazen Town. It's very old and. Historical town. So, what are these people gonna say? I wonder. Yoshi didn't want to be a great dancer. He wanted to be the best bartender who could always give a comeback to lame jokes. They've got the wrong kid. Got this information using my super ears. The kidnapping case in the Shikoku region has been solved. That was me, I guess. It's odd. Benkei's been letting me pass without taking anything. I wonder why. Maybe he's got a crush on me. Hmm? Kidding, I really saw it with my own eyes. A long wobbly thing flying and a bunch of little critters hanging around it. Okay. Here all the children have returned safety safely. Yes, they have. Okay. Maybe yeah. somewhere here? I wonder where it is. You're not shy. You're not shy. I'll save here. I know we just saved, but it's okay. Hmm. Where, oh, where shall we go next? You're not shaking. I'm wondering if it's... Well, I mean, obviously, we're not, we're not through the town yet, so let's, let's keep looking. Maybe it's just yeah. hidden here or something what? random. Oh, actually. Oh, no kidding. That's really clever. Maybe. Maybe not. There's nothing in here. Never mind. That wasn't clever. There's nothing in here. I was just doing that because I was frustrated. I can't believe that actually got me something. That's pretty funny. I was just like, let's just smack this thing. That's pretty funny. It's probably somewhere around here. Let's see. What was this again? Is this Plasma, dude? Nope. Ooh, who's this? Gigantic robots. There's a certain ring to those words that gets the adrenaline fr flowing. Steal the secret sweets from the cupboard day after day. Alright, nope, not that. The c 
collector. Is that the person down on the river? Let's see. Oh, it's Ben K. It's freaking Ben K this whole time? Man. I'm gonna double check Ben K's not this one. Ben K. Her, the bottom of her hair is literally a pyramid. Yeah, dude. Have you ever, um, like, have you ever done any, like, computer classes for, you know, graphics? You'll learn that it's just all triangles. So, given that big pyramid at the bottom, that's, like, that's peak efficiency. Yeah, I wasn't really into graphics either, to be honest. What is it today? Excuse me, Mr. Benke, I'd like to ask you something. Would you not have something called a miracle item? Huh? A miracle? No, I'm sorry, I don't have any such thing. But maybe he would have it. Uh-huh, and who would that be? Well, there is the collector with a collection even greater than mine. I believe his name was Kihachi. Like, Heihachi. Where can we find this Mr. Kihachi? He lives on the center pond of Zazen Town. Center pond. The center pond is either it's either this yeah. corridor here, or it's the um <laughs> it's either this, which I don't think it is because we just went here. I think it's we take the river and we take that to see that dude. You only had to copy code? That's very strange, to be honest. Okay. All these names. Kihachi, Heihachi. I was saying that instead of bringing back Heihachi, they'll bring back, like, the, or Jinpachi, they'll bring back the great-great-grandfather. Like, Jinhachi or something like that. There we go. <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. Get a little Kimpachi reference in there. Yeah. I like Kimpachi a lot, though. He, uh... Mainly because he's Jirai's voice actor, but still. Oh, is this some... If we go upstream, if we go upstream, we might be able to, uh, like, fill in this river, and then we can maybe, like, swim to this, to that area. I'm not sure if that's what we're supposed to do next, but let's see. Because the stream, the river's, like, dry. So wouldn't that be something we could do? Let's go talk to the fortune teller again. Talk to Mr. Plasma. See if they've got anything for us. Could also be that I just forgot where these areas go. Like, this place goes to the freaking mountain, not Ushiwaka. Yeah, like. Let's 
Let's go to the plasma yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Plasma, help me. Kihachi lives just off the center pond, which is surrounded by the bamboo forest between the shopping districts. What the heck? He is in the center pond. Did I just mess up by not going to look? Is that really what happened here? Wow. thought it was the whole time. Oh my gosh. Is that a... What are those called? Uh, a, ca a kappa? What do you say? What do you want with me? The mighty water amp. Kihachi. He's a kappa. Yay, I'm sorry. Oh, Yay says, I'm sorry to bother you, but do you remember picking up an unusual item around here? Hmm, maybe you're referring to this odd item I picked up the other day. Is that a fact? If that's true, can you give it to us? Get real. You don't just ask to get something for nothing. Try carving the world, word world in that piece of rock and tell me out loud what you have. Hey, that's pretty tough. It's no easy task to carve world on here. It's a tough world. In any case, I can't just go around giving away parts of my valuable collection. Please reconsider. We really need that item. Hmm. It's so hard to say no to someone so cute as you. Alright, I'll give it to you if you bring me my favorite food. Your favorite food? Yes, my favorite food. Farewell. What the hell is his favorite food? Oh my god, we're on a fetch quest. This game threw us on a fetch quest. Well, I'm just gonna go talk to Plasma again. It's in the game, we can abuse it. We're losing all our money for it, though. The son of the priest of the Golden Temple makes cucumbers a favorite in Kihachi's plasma. The son of the priest of the Golden Temple. Okay. The son. That wasn't Ushiwaka, right? He's just the one that was stealing stuff from the priest. Let's go talk to the priest to see where his son is. So you've come to listen to my sermon? No, 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 where's your son? What, you want to see my son? My son's going to watch the big sacred fire. You'll find him at Mount Nyogatake next to this temple. So we can meet him at Mount Nyogatake? Tis, tis, it won't be that simple. To get to the big fire of Mount Nyogatake, only those with an extensive training who can jump unimaginable heights will be able to proceed. You think you can do that? I'll try. Wow, I admire your spirit. Let's begin with the training then. In Bizen of the Chugoku region, there is a locked warehouse. Inside that warehouse is a training gym, and here is the key to that gym. This is the key that will open the training gym. Ah. Wow. Alright, time to go to Bizen. This is... This is a wild goose chase. This, this is kind of crazy. No. Where's Bizen? <sighs> I think I screwed up. I guess I'll just go directly to the Chuga region. I thought Bizen was on my map to be fast travel, but I guess I was wrong. Incorrect. Okay, we're going all across Japan, though. Isn't that exciting? Man, we're gonna have to take the freaking long way to get to Chugoku now. Bizen of the Chugoku region, the warehouse. Got it. Yeah. 
here. What the hell? And it was literally this thing? Wow. I went to fast travel for no reason. Nice. Good of you to come. This is where you will train to develop your legs and ankles and become a super jumper. Have you come to take on this training? Hmm, it wouldn't be for you. It's gotta be someone with triangular eyebrows and a round head. <laughs> Looks like this guy. Good of you to come. I'll show you to the training gym. Let's go. I will now explain the training. You will jump from foothold to foothold around the pillar within a specified time limit. You have completed your training when you reach the goal at the very top. Jump over the footholds that will move. Uh, try your best to finish within the time limit. Ready, set, start. Literally train. Uh, we're literally platforming then. Oh no! Shit! Guys, it's over. It's over. We've already failed. Or maybe not. Ah! Make it yet. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> no. Oh, my God, game. Uh, take this jump slowly. Yeah, let's take this jump slowly. Oh shit! No way! No! <laughs> You're not even kidding me! Oh man, we suck. We don't even get a we don't even get a surrender option. Unreal. Unreal. We failed it. just sleeping next to him. What's that about? Wow. We literally made it to the top and then I don't know what happened. I just got like bounced off of it. Unreal. Speedrun strats. Oops. Nope. Oops. Alright, we need to be a little more patient with that. Whoa, the game, like, doesn't want you to jump over that stuff. Like, at a certain point, you just can't jump anymore. So we'll go the slow way. So it's not about, like, just jumping through it. They're like, no, that's like a, that's like a dead zone. Alright, 
looks okay. Just gotta keep our cool. Just gotta keep our cool. yourself a super jump. Nice. Use the super jump. You can go to high places that were previously unreachable. Nice. Let's get out of here. We did it. No reason to be sad. We did it. I think if we can get the last piece so that we can challenge the boss, that'll be a good start stopping point probably. I don't know if that means we'll just finish it like at the very end, but I, I assume the boss sequences can be long. Or like another dungeon or something. So like I could see just like finishing this. Jetpack, that's what that is. Wow. Alright, let's go talk to Homeboy for cucumbers. What? You come all the way here? So, what do you want? Do you have Kihachi's favorite? About the cucumber? Oh, do you want some of the cucumber I grew? Okay, I'll sell it to you for 800 real. If you can't appreciate the value of my cucumbers, you can leave right now. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, they're gonna make us grind money! This game's ridiculous. I knew I shouldn't have been wasting my money on other stuff. Man, this game's cruel. Well, we'll go to the Chugoku region and start fighting things. That's unreal. That's, that's very, uh... Very rude of them. Now we'll have plenty to do until the save time. Wait a second. I think we can... Right, this stuff has all that money in there. Alright, we gotta, we gotta hack. We're good. We're good to go now. I was worried for nothing. So we got Sasuke with us. Are there any more? Let's see if there's more on this side. Maybe? No? Okay. But what we can do now is we're just gonna reset the spawn and do it again. I bet that works, right? Please say that works. It does. Well, we figured out, we figured out the loop we're gonna use. Will not waste that money though. All right, reset. <laughs> this is going to be some riveting gameplay for the next like 10 minutes when we just like save up 800 Rio. Unreal. Alright, 
I think if we do like maybe four laps total of like full laps total, we'll be able to do it. Because each one gives us about 50, right? Wait, that means, yeah, so about four laps. What is my shirt? This is from uh, Roosevelt Tees. I don't know if I don't know if they uh, ship to Canada. They probably do, um, but they're like various nerdy tees. This is a Star Wars shirt, so it's got like a bunch of Star Wars concept art on it. Here, I can actually show it to the camera a little bit. But it's got like Darth Vader and stuff on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Like, there's Darth Vader. Concept art. I just realized my mic cut out, but there's like. Darth Vader on it. That was what I was pointing to. Hell yeah, I wore it to work. I mostly work from home, but I was in the office today. Work's been pretty stressful, but it's been going well. I'm I'm the uh, I'm the team lead now. Uh, my colleagues didn't really say anything. They're pretty chill about it. I mean, it's software, so you don't really need to like wear a suit or anything. Yeah, we're gonna get this at, on this lap, I think. We may not even need to, we could just go straight there after this, probably. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Nice! Oh, you get, that's pretty funny. Um, I actually work for a company that has a, I mean, I work for a company that's owned by a Japanese company, so because of that, you could probably figure out what that was. But anyway, um, but even if you couldn't, that's okay. Like, so because of that, Japanese is, like, not a big deal over there. In the sense that, you know, everyone, everyone for the most part has, like, been to Japan and, like, you know, relocated to their Japanese office and stuff. And in fact, that's, like, their Tokyo office. And that's actually one of the reasons I'm there, is that it's my work visa into Japan if I ever want to go there. Which... Technically, the plan is to try and go there in, like, three years. Oh, shoot. He slid. Yeah, he's sliding. That's pretty funny, though. You've made a wise purchase. Here you go. Got it. It's a quality cucumber. That's, that's how you know. But if you wore a jacket with dumb Japanese on it, I would definitely give you sh shit for it. Just saying. If it was saying something stupid. it! Go on and allies trade their quality cucumber with Kihachi's miracle item. Receive the miracle snow, shaped like a snowflake. Oh boy. Farewell. Honestly, I think it's worth, we got 15 minutes, it's worth trying to see if we can finish the time. Let's try. We'll, we'll make an effort, at the very least. You're not shank. Nope. Maybe it's on the other side, actually. I don't remember anymore. Nope, it's here. Alright. 
let's see if we can't, uh, see if we can't make it there and give it a shot. I think we're fully upgraded now. Everyone's got a magic weapon. Everyone has three things they can do. Everyone has three things they can do, I think. Um, three weapons, I mean, and a special ability. So, yeah. So let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. We'll finish next time. Maybe I should have saved here, huh? Yeah, we'll save here real quick. that to Japanese. I mean, yeah, we wouldn't be doing any of this cool stuff. What would we be? Alright, let's go. I think it's this way. the finale if we can actually get through it in 10 minutes which I doubt it so we might end up running over which is fine all right do you wish to save the game to this point in the adventure diary yes we do yay there you are the four miracle items now open the passage to outer space Pemo Pemo God, I am the Pemo Pemo God. Let me warn you that once you go to the outer space, you may never be able to return. Will you still go? Uh, yeah, sure. I commend you for your courage. <laughs> what the hell? I feel like this is going to be a dungeon and not just a fight, though. So if it's just, if it's a dungeon too, we'll, we'll call it out. Call it, whoa. What are these characters? Yeah, this is a whole dungeon, isn't it? Is this a whole dungeon? Yeah, it's a whole dungeon. All right. We'll finish this next time because this is a little bit, this is a little bit uh, too much for the rest of the stream. So let's go ahead and, um... Let's go ahead and just wrap things up a little early for the night, but I think we had a lot of fun, and we saved right beforehand, so we're good to go. Um, so yeah, uh, let's do our YouTube sign-off real quick. If you're coming from YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow, and we really love seeing the new people show up. And if you want to watch it live, it's at twitch.tv slash Vontiban. That's V-O-N-T-I-B-A-N. We stream uh, this stuff at Thursday evenings, 8.45 p.m. to 10.45 p.m. Central Time. And if you want to watch the main content, that's Tekken. At Saturdays and Sundays, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Time. So come check that out there as well. So with that, thank you so much, YouTube. I appreciate the support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.